everybody welcome back to my channel welcome back to bookmas or actually this is the first day of bookmas i'm really excited because we're going to start bookmas off with a november wrap-up i'm totally read ready for bed right now so i'm very sorry if i have a list but we're just gonna talk about the books that i read in the month of november we're actually going to start out with a poetry collection by Harriet Mullen and that is Recyclopedia and this has a three of her works in it so it's trimming sperm kit and muse and dredge and this book was phenomenal I really really enjoyed this I was not sure what I expected from this but wow was it like it was beautiful I don't know which section was my favorite I know I really really liked muse and dredge a lot um, there's a lot of illusions throughout the collection, and yeah, I loved it. I ended up rating this five stars, so if you like poetry, um, I would definitely recommend this one. Now, I read Hopeless, which is the fifth book in the Chestnut Spring series. This is the final book in that series. I rated it five stars. It was about Bo, um, which was one of the Eaton brothers. Is that even... Is that even their last name? Okay, I was getting scared that I was confusing it with the... Um, the Edens. Okay, the Edens. Whoa, that's kind of similar. Wow, I'm just realizing that. Anyways, um, I really did five stars. I really liked it. It was an age gap romance. It was also kind of like a fake dating or like bet type of romance, which I thought was interesting. Um, I will say the conflict at the end, it kind of confused me. I didn't really understand it. Like, I didn't think it needed to be ha happen. Like, if you know, you know. But I still rated it five stars. And I just love that um, it was a happy ending. I like seeing the family. It was really, really good. And I'm sad that we're going out of this um, like town, the town of Chestnut Springs. But I know she's expanding the universe. And I definitely need to read her um, first series that's also in the same universe. But whatever. I did also write in my review that I felt like the pacing was off sometimes. So that was another... Um, I guess qualm with the book. Curse for True Love, um, which is the third and final book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. I will say I think this was my most anticipate, anticipated read for this year and I ended up only rating it three stars. I was honestly disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I was unsatisfied. I thought the pacing was really weird. I felt like we didn't, like, I don't know, the relationship between Jackson um, and Evangeline said her name really weird I just felt like like it it was just weird it was off something was wrong with it I mean it was like a happy ending but Jackson it seemed like Jax and I felt like we got so much of the beginning I don't know if you guys read it I'm sure you know but I only read it three stars I don't know. and I actually read Iron Flame I read this one five stars as well honestly it's probably more like a four star book but I really enjoyed it while I was reading it and I thought the ending was really interesting. I think it gives a certain book tro book trope. Um, if you've ever read The Vampire Academy or watched that movie, then, like, you should know. Um, but it's giving that, and I think that's okay, but I'm also scared of where it could go. Whatever. I Like I said, rated it five stars. Iron Flame I'm lending out currently, and A Curse for True Love I actually borrowed from my friend Ashley, so I don't have those physically. I also don't have Citizen, which is the next book I read. This is a poetry book it is an american lyric and this was done by claudia ranking i also rated this one five stars it was incredible um i had said that this was the best thing we had read out of our class i just thought it was very very impactful from the cover to the end like the back cover everything about it was just summed up perfectly and i had kind of made a or I considered how it's called an american lyric and it is basically talking about um racial um conflict within America and of course it's like a lyrical poem that's kind of like why it's called that but I also considered how in throughout her poem or throughout the book it's repeated actions of racism coming out and it's almost like you know when you get a, like a fun lyric and it, it's going over and over in your head everybody knows it like it keeps repeating it you know it's like kind of never ending I, th I considered how that title kind of translates to what she's talking about when it comes to um, racism in America. Anyways, it was super good. I 100% recommend it. 
yeah love it i read manacled again this is my second time reading this the, fir the first time i read it was in august so the fact that i read this again i don't know what was wrong with me this book is so good i read it five stars i know it's a fan fiction but guys guys this is canon for me that book is so good look up trigger warnings but i if you like harry potter in any sense honestly you don't even have to like harry potter i would recommend it but you don't have to um wow it's so good i literally i'm obsessed with it i read it twice this year within four months like what um anyways for um a book club that i'm a part of i read the seven and a half deaths of evelyn hardcastle i actually rated this two stars i was completely lost i had the audiobook and i had the book on libby on my ipad or on my kindle and oh i just didn't get it there's so much there's so much new information that it was like just as you were processing the last thing you learned there was a whole bunch of new stuff it was just a lot of perspectives and i know that's like part of the plot obviously but i i just and this is definitely like probably my fault a little bit i just felt lost if you're a new reader i would not recommend this because boy it was confusing and i feel like i usually have a typical um like good ability to keep up and this one could not so take with that as you will read the afterlife by a.e stallings i actually went to a poetry reading um she came to my university and that is where i got this copy of the book but yeah i rated this five stars i think it's so good i really love the references to greek mythology i think it's 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 so good i love poetry i i never realized how much i love poetry until this semester um and yeah i definitely I definitely definitely recommend this there's a lot of references but in my review i said i felt like it aided versus hurt and so love also the cover is like gorgeous guys i finally 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 finished a house of sky and breath which is the second book in the crescent city series i'm not going to spoil this i read it five stars i will say why is this so long i felt like a lot of the build-up or it wasn't even build up. It was just, it didn't need to be there. And it was almost like Sarah J. Moss just needed to get her book a little bit longer. Um, I love her. I'm not trying to critique her, but I also kind of am. Um, yeah, I just, what, obviously once I got towards the end, I was like, I could not stop. And I think that's great. But it's also like the pacing just was, like the last time I picked up this book was in June. And I just finished it in November. That is telling me, I, it's definitely a me problem. But it's also like, you have nothing going on in this first section and it felt like the main plot device that was kind of fueling us through this was immediately like solved and i'm sure like we'll we'll learn more but it was kind of like oh yeah like this has already been done and immediately moved on and i was like what have we been focusing on for this entire book but besides all that i did read it five stars it was phenomenal i have the third book on pre-order so don't you worry i'll be right reading that in february hopefully we'll see i guess i read in real life or irl by tommy pico this is another poetry book i ended up reading this four stars i thought it had a very unique voice and also just the format format was really interesting because it was like a text message and you're just scrolling and it had a lot of text lingo um and it was just really interesting this is a story about a queer indigenous person and i i just think it was really good and yeah i would definitely recommend it um yeah i actually just finished this the other day this is vuelta by lourdes figaro figaro um this book is just like this it's stunning like i love it it was beautiful this this book right here it's literally like 60 pages so if you guys are new into poetry get this book this this is like maybe my one of my favorite poetry books just the imagery that she is able to invoke it was oh beautiful stunning it's a little erotic which i personally like but if you don't like that that's totally okay um the reason i like that is i just think that aids in um how beautiful the poetry is and it's like i wish i could write like this wow there's also a sense of um migration in this because i believe figaro figueroa is a mexican-american I don't actually know that i believe there's some sort of migration with her parents i'm not sure with her um she's born in mexico but that is definitely a topic of it we have spanish throughout the book um and i definitely did some google translating but some of it you can keep a hold of um 
Yeah, it was super intimate and I loved the voice. I loved it. I loved it. It was so good. We finished our discussion on this book actually today. And yeah, I recommend this one. The book I read was Death in Her Hands by Otessa Moshbeth. Um, I rated this 3.75 stars. I actually thought it was pretty good. I have had this on my shelf for almost two years, which is kind of insane. Okay, it'll be two years in March. So it's, it's like, we still have some time until then. But I have definitely been putting off reading this. And I, I really enjoyed it. I thought the voice was interesting. I just think some comments within the novel were disturbing. There was a lot of fat phobic commentary and the killing of an animal that I didn't really enjoy that much. Um, just definitely look at trigger warnings before you read, but I will say I think this author does a fantastic job at writing these female main characters that are just kind of insane in different ways. Out of the two novels I've read, this one and My Year of Rest and Relaxation, the main characters are just so problematic, but it's like, it's in a bad way, but it's in a good way as a reader. Like, it makes me want to keep on reading. Um, I feel like I've been snapping a lot, so sorry. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. I would recommend it. Um, I think I would recommend My Year of Rest and Relaxation a little bit more than this one. But this one was definitely interesting. And yeah, I actually have a reading blog um, with this. So that'll have more in it. And yeah. And then the last book I actually read and I finished today is a book that the author actually sent me an arc of or it's not an arc it is he just sent it to me a little bit early and i'm super grateful that's the first time i've ever um received something a little bit earlier than the publication date so i just wanted to be transparent about that but it it, it is a poetry collection it comes out in december anyways i'm very excited i read this after i had read citizen by claudia rankine because i feel like they're very similar in the way that they discuss topics like i mentioned earlier it is um hope in darkness is a conversation around race in america as well as a conversation about anxiety depression religion and i think casey Breelove um does it very well and i like honestly didn't know what to expect and i i really enjoyed reading it i ended up reading it four and a half stars um i thought there was some really good poems in there and i definitely recommend it i believe he's selling it on amazon digitally or um or physical copies just a disclaimer i'm not getting paid for to say any of this um he did send it to me but he's not paying me so i just want to be honest about that um but yeah i don't have my physical copy yet but when i get it i will definitely show you guys just because i'm super excited about it um but yeah just to talk more about the book uh if you if you are interested in poetry if anything about claudia rankine's citizen and american lyrics structure to you i would definitely recommend hope and darkness because it's basically it's the same topics just done in a little bit of a different format but i really enjoyed it again four and a half stars thank you casey breedlove for sending that to me i appreciate it so much and i would definitely recommend that book i would recommend all the books i have read this month i think all of them were over three and a half stars i'm pretty sure which is awesome um but yeah that's the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching i am very excited to be doing book myths and i will talk to you guys very soon peace and love bye guys bye